According to the Bar Hotels and Liquor Traders Owners Association Balita, the move is uncalled for and heading in the wrong direction because when the Finance Act 2022 was passed in July 2022, it contained an increase in the excise rates for beer and spirits by 10% and 20% respectively. We wish to categorically state that as players in the alcoholic value chain, we oppose to any further increase of public goods as it goes against the spirit of patriotism, patriotism, especially in the face of the current economic conditions. Additionally, there is a need to give time investors in the bar and restaurant uh, industry to recover from the effects of COVID. Two years down the line, the industry is still, getting, uh, is still struggling to get back. As a lobby group, our considered opinion is that this is a move in the wrong direction because when the Finance Act 2022 was passed in July 2022, it contained an increase in the excess of beer and spirits by 10 and 20 percent. Association said the impact of two major successive excess tasks increases in less than three months negatively, impacting consumer welfare and increases illicit trade and cost of living since petroleum products are included in the proposed increase and it has the effect of putting a knee on the necks already burdened population. At the same time, KRA Commissioner General is required to adjust annually the specific rates of excise duty, taking into account the rate of inflation. We find this to be an excessive. The impact of two major successive uh, excise duty increases in less than three months negatively impacts the welfare of our consumer and increases illicit trade and the cost of living. It has to be noted that alcoholic beverage industry is yet to stabilize from the impact of COVID. They say following 10% and 20% excise increase on beer and spirits affected through the Finance Act 2022 in July, alcohol consumption has declined in favor of illicit, where they have observed a decline of 21% in Bali and sorghum based beers, respectively. Ladies and gentlemen, to put this into context, following the 10 and 20% excessive increase in beer and spirits effected in the Finance Bill Act 2022, that is in July this year, alcoholic consumption has declined in favor of illicit. We have observed a decline of 21% and 31% in Bale and Sogam. That's affect our farmers. Bale to Secretary General Bonface Gashoka said locally manufactured finished goods distribution and retail alcohol trade, which is dominated by micro and small enterprises, is expected to lose 4.2 billion shillings in reduction of raw material use, 15.7 billion shillings in employment income loss, and 35,364 jobs will be lost. Locally manufactured goods, distribution and retail alcohol trade, which is dominated by SMEs, is expected to lose 4.2 billion. The arbitrary increase in taxes by KRA goes against the principle of public finance that encourage tax predictability. Our East African neighbors, Uganda and Tanzania, have managed to retain their taxes for the last four to five years. This, therefore, makes Kenyan industry uncompetitive. He said a proliferation of contraband alcohol increases the premium for tax evasion among unscrupulous players in the informal market, where a result, a compliant businesses and indeed the government must expand resources in enforcing compliance to protect revenue and market share from untaxed alcohol and counterfeit. It's a maybe inflation adjustment sio kuongezewa kwa taxes. Hii ni kitu ambayo tunapinga. So huu mwaka watu wa biashara ya mvinyo tumeongezewa taxes mara mbili. Na hili ni jaribio la tatu la kuongezea taxes. Kile ambacho tunasema ni ya kwamba wakati mnaongezea kodi mara tatu kwa mwaka bei ya bidhaa halali na wanabiashara ambao wanafanya bidhaa halali kile ambacho unafanya ni kufukuza wateja wetu ili waeze wakakunywe changa na pombe mbaya na mnajua madhara ya changa if this proposed uh, 
annual inflation tax is implemented, we will close 35,000 bars. At the same time, the farmers are going to lose a value of 4.2 billion because we have farmers in the whole country who produce sorghum, barley, and all the other things. So, mwaka uliopita tulienda kotini na tukapinga hili wazo. Na tukafaulu. Na hata saizi vile tunaongea, tukona court injunction against this increment. Tumeona kama inji za Uganda na Tanzania. Hawajawai ongeza ushuru wao karibu miaka fulani. Na hiyo mewafanya wawe stable. Kienda kama wabushia boda, bei ya taska huko ni shilingi miyamoja ishirini. Hapa eldore taska tunauza 250. Sababu gani? Ni ushuru tu. Tukipunguza ushuru, ama tuditeni kuwa stable pali hiko. Tutapata biashara mzuri na tutaandika watu wengi kwa hii kazi na watu wetu wanapata kazi na watalijia.